Now let us solve question number 12 from exercise 10.2 chapter 10. From the point P, two tangents PA and PB are drawn to a circle with center O. If OP is equal to diameter of the circle, show that APB is equilateral triangle. Now coming to the solution. Here a circle is given with center O in which two tangents PA and PB are drawn to circle from point B. PA and PB are two tangents drawn from point P and he says that the distance between center to the point P is diameter of the circle that is OP is equal to 2 times the radius let R be the radius. Consider a point Q on circle which also intersects OP line segment. Therefore, if the above information is represented in the figure, this will be like this as shown. So we need to prove that APB is an equilateral triangle that is this triangle is to be proved equilateral. So in order to prove that, we have considered point Q on the circle such that it intersects OP and circle. Therefore, OQ will be equal to radius R since it is a line segment from center to the point on the circle. Now, as it is given OP is equal to 2R, which implies OP can be written as sum of OQ plus PQ, which is equal to 2R. That implies PQ is equal to 2R minus R, that is R. Therefore, PQ length is equal to R that is radius. As OQ is equal to PQ, we can say that Q is the midpoint of OP. Therefore, a circle, therefore we can say that Q is the midpoint of OP. Now, we know that in triangle OAP, angle OAP is equal to 90 degrees. Since at the point of contact A, Tangent will be perpendicular to radius at that point. Therefore, we can say here in triangle OAP we have OP is equal to 2R. We can say OA is equal to R. As it is a right angle triangle, it is easy to find the angle APO. That is sine of triangle APO is equal to opposite side OA divided by hypotenuse here is OP which implies sine of angle APO is equal to OA is R divided by OP is 2R which is half therefore angle APO is equal to sine inverse 1 by 2 which is equal to 30 degrees similarly if we consider the lower part, we get the angle BPO is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore, angle APB can be now written as sum of angle APO plus angle BPO that is equal to 30 degrees plus 30 degrees which is 60 degrees. Now, we got this whole angle APB is equal to 60 degrees. Let us also find the other angles, angle BAP and ABP. We know that pair of tangents drawn from the external point to circle will be of equal length. Here we can say PA will be equal to PB. Therefore, in triangle PAB. The angles opposite to equal sides will be also equal. Therefore, angle PAB will be also equal to angle PBA. Let this be equal to some x degrees. Now let us apply angle sum property in triangle APB. Then we get sum of angles that is 60 degrees plus what we assumed is for this angles x degrees and x degrees will be equal to 180 degrees that implies 60 degrees 
plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees which implies that 2x is equal to 180 minus 60 degrees is 120 degrees which further implies x is equal to 120 degrees by 2 that is 60 degrees so we got here angle PAB is equal to angle PBA is equal to 60 degrees now therefore in triangle APB all the angles are equal to 60 degrees therefore we can say triangle APB is equilateral and this is what the required proof for us